and welcome to Code Fall. With fall around the corner and everyone heading back to school, that means sports teams, especially those in high school and college, have already started their practice. During um, sports, there's a lot of different things that now use coding um, for running statistics, running different possible plays. And so for our code club today, we're going to learn how to actually do a sports tutorial um, for being able to run a sports game. So the first thing you need to do is watch this video. In this video, you'll be introduced to someone who does coding for sports. And then she's going to show you how to actually do the different tutorials. You can watch it on YouTube or you can watch it here on the website. I'm just going to go down here. So underneath my little screenshot, um, you can go to the trash shot, shot example. So we've watched the video. It's going to automatically take you here, but because I don't want to watch the video with you, because you won't be able to hear all of the sound, I'm just going to run ahead. All right, so this is our background. As you can see, it's still set up very similar to Blockly, even though it is Python. So we have our field building tools, we have our images, um, and they've already put some program and images there for us. So when we run it, you can see how they've set up this particular game. It looks like we're working on a table and we're trying to get things, I think, into this recycle bin. So kind of like, you know, the rough ball that you played on the table. Um, so when you run it, you click to start, and you are trying to make this shot. Yay, goal! Um, so that is what we want to do, but we're going to create this ourselves. So I'm going to pull all this stuff out and put it in the trash. Um, and then we're going to start over. So we have our program. This is what we're going to run. We're going to go and we're going to set up our different images. So we need a background. So we're going to put our background in here. Click it in place. Doesn't look like I can do that, so I'm going to move it over here. Looks like I have to build the background image first. So there we go. Background image. Currently it is a field. Um, and so we can do different ones. We can do a field, we can do different things, and we can see what we want to have. So this is actually a goal, so I'm going to put that in there for now. Um, then I need to have a goal. So we're going to set a goal image. Right now we have a goal. Um, you can put on a, all sorts of different things depending on what field you decided as your background. I am going to have this one. And then I can put a different type of paddle. So how am I going to get my item to the goal? And in this case, it looks like I'm going to have a person. So I think I'm on a basketball court. We will see. Then I need a ball. So for me, I think I'm on a basketball field. So I'm going to choose the basketball. So now we're going to run. And it looks like I have what I need. Yay! So then we have all of our elements. Um, you can change them and you can do text if you'd like, but I find the blocks a lot easier to use. So now we're going to run our program. Click to start. We're going to get this ball. And it looks like I am not very good at getting it where I need it to go. So I think we're missing something, right? So here's one point. Play around with it, change the parts to see what happens. So if you get stuck, there are all sorts of different things that they have for you. Um, so it says we do have a failure and it's not running right. So we have to figure out what we did wrong. Um, whenever you get stuck like that, you can go um, to see what it is we did that is stopping us from getting what we need this to be. Um, so we can either go backwards to the beginning and just hitting that again. So we have a goal image, we have a background, we have an image, we have a paddle. So it looks very similar to what we have. 
So I'm going to move this down here so I can look at it. So I'm going to put my background image there. I like my basketball court. I'm going to get my goal image. And that's going to be that one. I'm supposed to put a ball in first, so maybe that's why I didn't work before. The goal, um, goal image is first, so we're going to actually view, view, make sure we have them all in the right order, and then paddle last, and that's going to be a person. So it looks like that's what it should be. Um, so we're going to put this over here. This is our program. And it looks like we're just having these be arrows, which is what I didn't do before. So that's all it is. So now this, I'll go in there. And I'm going to run my program. So, so it looks like I just have to move my character and it works. So that is how I do troubleshooting. I sometimes go back to the beginning and start over and see how they put things in order. And it seems like that worked. So then you can hit next and you'll go to the next one. So it'll give you a little let's go, this is how we do it. And then you keep moving forward. So I hope you've enjoyed this Code Club tutorial on how to create sports related video games using Python. I hope you enjoy it and have a great day. Bye for now. <laughs>